Hello, in this video we look at the Woodbury matrix identity and the Sherman-Morrison formula. And it turns out that this is act the Sherman-Morrison formula is a, a special case of the Woodbury matrix identity. So we'll do the, the Woodbury matrix identity first. And this, let's let A and C be invertible matrices, dimensions n by n and k by k. Then we have uh, vectors u and v n by k and k by n, then this inverse is equal to this. And really the dimensions of these matrices have to work such that the multiplication works and the addition works. That's the requirement. And then the, and then, uh, the inverse of A has to exist, and then of course this inverse has to exist for this to hold. And let's prove that. So let's look at this identity first, or this note, and we'll use it in the proof. If we have this matrix set up, and if we left factor out a UC, then we're left with this, right? Because when we, when we multiply that back in, we just get U, and then of course we get the same thing here. But over here, we could have right factored out a minus or a inverse u and been here right so then when this is multiplied in we get u and of course we get this back now and that implies that since this is equal to that and that's equal to that it implies that those two are equal which is what this says right here okay now what we want to do is pre and post multiply by these inverses which is essentially the inverses of these so if we pre-multiply by this to here, those go away and we're left with just this. And then we, when we pre-multiply, it's you know out in front. Now let's post-multiply by this. And since it's the inverse, this goes away. And then that's just stuck on the end. And so what we're left with is this. Um, right? AU and then post-multiplied by this is this, you know, and then pre-multiply Okay. Now let's start the proof. We start with A inverse. And then we pre-multiply it by the identity matrix so it doesn't change it. Well, that's what this is, right? They're inverse matrices of each other, so it's just A inverse. Now we multiply the A inverse in, and we get this. Then we mul left multiply this into here, and we get this. Now, look at this piece here through the UC. This right here, um, UC, oh, is, right? That's what this is, and it's equal to this. So let's put that in here, and that's what this is. Now, um, if we subtract this to the other side, then we're left with this is equal to you know, A inverse minus this. And that's the Woodbury matrix identity. Okay. Now the Sherman-Morrison formula is a special case of this. And it says that let A and UV transpose be invertible, where A is an N by N matrix and U and V are N by 1 vectors. Then this result holds. Okay. The proof is this. So we're going to use the Woodbury matrix identity with C equal the number 1 and U, capital U be little u, this vector, and capital B be this vector. And then it holds. And that's trivial. It's uh, When you do the math up here, it's instant. Now one note though. What if we wanted to make this a minus? We could put that minus in U and then make that a plus, so it's minus U. And then the formula holds, but we have a minus U here, which we could take that minus out and make it a plus, and then the minus here would actually make that a minus, so actually the signs change. And that's what we do in our example that is following. So um, the example is in, in multiple linear regression, we calculate something that's called the press statistic, 
which is essentially removing one observation at a time and then recalculating the fitted model. So if we let X and X minus I be the des design matrices with all the observations, that's X, and with the ith observation removed, that's X I minus I, then uh, and we let this script XI be the ith observation, which is which is essentially the ith row of the design matrix X. So you can think of X as this matrix, the ith row or the ith observation, and then this matrix, you know, all the other observations. So X is a matrix, I is a vect row vector, one by k plus one. Right, and then uh, X2 is a matrix. So let's examine this a little farther. Let's look at this result right here. So X transpose X minus the ith row transposed ith row. So th since this is a row and we transpose it now becomes a column vector and this is a row vector. So this is a matrix. And of course these are the design matrices. And if we put in what they are, so X, of course, is these three components, the ith row and the transpose is this. Now we do this multiplication and we get this, you know, I or 1, 1, I, I. But look at this, this cancels. And we're just left with these two uh, matrix products. Well, then this can be back solved into this. But notice this is the design matrix with the ith observation removed. And this is its transpose. So that's kind of cool that x transpose x minus the ith observation, you know, vector product, is just the design matrices, you know, with the ith observation removed, you know, transpose x. It's this, okay? And in the press test, the press statistic, when we remove an observation and we have to recalculate the fitted model, we have to take it this inverse, right? That's part of the least squares uh, estimate. So let's look at the inverse of this, which is equal to this, right? We just showed that. And now let's use the uh, Sherman Morrison formula, and then we get this, right? But this bottom piece here we call HII, which it actually ends up being the diagonal element of the hat matrix. Okay, so HII is like the element of the, the hat matrix. The hat matrix is the, is the original design matrix, you know, X, X transpose, X inverse, X transpose. And then to get the I element of this, we take the ith row, and then the ith column, and then when those are multiplied, we get the i ith element. Well, that's what this is, right? H i i. And to me, this is this is sort of amazing that we can compute this inverse in terms of the full design matrix and the ith observation. Anyway, it's kind of neat. And then the next uh, video will be on the press test statistics. So we'll, we'll even expand some of these calculations. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. I sure did. Please like the video and subscribe so you don't miss the next one. Thanks. Bye.